Uh, we met we met somebody new to the Vegas uh, media market uh, just moments ago. We certainly did. We want to welcome her to the stage, yeah. right? Her name is uh, Brittany Kaysen, and she is new to the market as one half of the BS in the morning on Comp. BS in the morning. BS in the morning. Pretty I love good, it. huh? It's fantastic. You, you could do that in radio. Brittany's only been here for two months. Scream for, yell for, first hats and pants for Brittany Kaysen. I'm giving up on love, love's giving up on me. Hello, I'm the new girl in school. My name is Brittany Kaysen. I'm the new co-host on the new morning show on Comp 92.3 called BS in the Morning with Brittany and Sparks. Thank you, but that was not the punchline. I actually just recently relocated to Vegas specifically to do the show from Charlotte, North Carolina. You guys know about Charlotte? It is a southeast city better known for NASCAR and politician mistresses. True story. Um, yeah, which means that I'm one of those rednecks that has mispronounced the name of your state wrong the, my entire life. I get it now. I get it. It's Nevada. I had to train myself. Nevada data. I had to train myself because the first time I said, I'm so excited to live in Nevada now, I got yelled at. I got booed. I get it. Saying Nevada here is worse than being a white girl trying to date a black guy in the South. True story. And Charlotte is also the epicenter of the Bible Belt, which means I've been beaten with a few Bibles in my day, but that didn't stop me from reading one. But that's neither here nor there. But the Bible beaters are pissed off right now because of this new show on Adult Swim. Have you heard of it? It's called Black Jesus. People are freaking out. Megyn Kelly's on Fox News like, Jesus is white. Jesus is white like Santa. Do you remember that last Christmas? Megyn Kelly said on national news, she said, quote, all you kids out there watching, Santa's white. He's just white like Jesus. First of all, Jesus was born in the Middle East. So wouldn't that make him more like tan, brown? And you're wrong, Megyn Kelly. Santa's not white. Santa's not black either. Santa's not brown. Santa's not anything. Santa's not real. So why are we having a race debate about a mythical creature on national news? Seriously. Um, and by the way, though, if this is breaking news for you, if this is the first time you're hearing about Santa, I do apologize that you had to hear it from me because I remember how it felt to find out my parents were lying to me. I do. Sorry about that, guys. But, you know, I'm actually having a little bit of a hard time getting adjusted to life in Vegas. For starters, I cannot drink enough water to save my life. My big, lofty, huge goal for living here is to always have clear pee. It's hard. I cannot keep up with my water intake because it's totally screwing with my alcohol consumption. It's not right. The worst part is, though, I'm really having trouble making friends and meeting people. Because in the South, waving and smiling at people is what we do. It's a cultural norm. You make eye contact, you wave, and you smile. Not here. Cannot do that here. I went downtown on Fremont Street and tried to do that. People either ran from me or asked me how much. Hey. But no, I love living in Vegas. There's always something to do here, as you know. But then again, I work in morning radio and wake up at 3 a.m. So I see people doing things on Instagram. And I like their photos, if that counts. Does that count? Maybe a little bit? No? But no, I actually went to the blue versus white NBA Team USA game last night, and I had nightmares about what happened to Paul George. That was awful. Um, but, you know, since, since that game is here, that means the NBA players are in town. So f be forewarned that that means crime and Kardashian rates are skyrocketed. So be careful when you leave here. Serious. This is serious stuff. Um, but no, I'm actually really proud to be a Vegas local now. Really proud. Especially working for Comp 92.3, the Heritage Rock Station. Right? But I come from Charlotte, North Carolina, where I did morning radio doing Top 40 and Country. So people are kind of like, how are you going to hang in rock and roll? Well, first of all, I don't have to listen to auto-tune songs about people taking selfies every 90 minutes anymore, nor do I have to pretend like The Bachelor is good television. 
It's awesome. Um, but working in country radio gives me more street cred than heavy metal and hardcore rap combined. I mean, have you seen the news? People had to be hospitalized after a Keith Urban concert, after the Luke Bryan concert. It turned Pittsburgh into Tencent Beer Night. And then, have you, have you listened to the lyrics? Miranda Lambert singing about setting ex-boyfriends on fire, and Carrie Underwood's talking about smashing windows and slashing tires. Those are felonies. Right? But, I guess if you add a good twang to anything, it's okay, right? Because Earl had to die happy tune. Na, 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 na. No, seriously, though, we don't want to kill Earl, but we do want women to get away from Earl. And it was my honor to stand up here and publicly humiliate myself to help raise money for Safe Nest so women can get away from the Earls of the world. I am Brittany Kaysen from BS in the Morning on Comp 92.3, and that's my time. Rock on, everyone. Give it up for Brittany. Awesome job. Woo! Give it up for Brittany. One more time. Nice Big round of Brittany. applause. I heard like a cheering section for her yeah. over there, She's too. been here two months. We want to welcome her to town. And we also want to teach her the correct way to say Nevada. Nevada. Right? Because that is troubling for some But folks. here's the other 49 states say Nevada. They do. They do. Right. And then I walked in here and I said it once. And they're like, you fucking jerk. Yeah. 